So start in your comfortable seated position, hands at heart centre, start by tuning into your breath, the inhalations, the exhalations, using this to carry you through your practice today. And when you've set your intention and your dedication, uncross your legs and rock over to your hands and to your knees. Knees fall underneath the hips and wrists underneath the shoulders. Then begin to move with your breath. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, curl it in and dome the back. Inhale, lift the chest, gaze ahead. Exhale, curl it in, dome the back, push away. Inhale to lift the chest. Exhale, curl it in, navel to spine, push through the hands. Inhale, lift. And exhale, draw it in. Inhale, come to a neutral spine position. Raise your right arm and hover your left leg. Same action, draw it into center. Inhale, reach and expand. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, reach. And exhale in. And then place hand, place knee. Raise the left arm and the right leg. Exhale, draw it into center. Inhale, expand, reach ahead. Exhale, draw it in. Final time, inhale, reach. Exhale, draw it in. And then place hand, place knee. And then when you're ready, tuck your toes and send your hips high to downward facing dog. Start to cycle out the legs, bending one knee, bending the other knee, just walking out your downward facing dog. Hands are shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. And when you're ready to still down dog, still downward facing dog, jacking the tailbone to the sky. Then start to extend the right leg high, bend it out, open the hip, drawing the heel toward the bum. And then send your knee towards your nose, maybe give it a little kiss. Send the right leg high, and then twist it over to your left elbow, maybe you can give it a little tap. And send the right leg high, maybe tapping your right elbow, how high can you get the knee? Send the knee high to the sky. And then curl it in, maybe give it a kiss. Then place the foot, drop the left knee to the ground and reach the arms high toward the sky. Again, tuning back into our breath and feeling the stretch in your body. So square the hips toward the front of the room, press through the heel, energetically draw your front heel back knee together and keep the hugging of the thighs. Then place the hands, pick up the right foot, send it backwards and lower all the way down toward your belly. Untuck your toes and lift up to a cobra. And then send the hips back, tuck the toes and then jack the tailbone high to the sky. When you're ready, send the left leg high to the sky. Begin to bend it out, open the hip. Then curl it in, knee to nose. Send the leg high to the sky, send it over to your right elbow, little twist. Send the leg high and then over to the left elbow, maybe a little tap. Send the leg high. Curl it in, knee to nose, place the foot in between the hands, drop the right knee to the ground, keep the back toes tucked and reach the arms high toward the sky. Again, hips are squaring toward the front of the room, keep reaching toward the sky, focusing on the breath, using the muscles of the arms, of the legs and finding the stretch in your body. When you're ready, you're going to place your hands either side of your front foot, Send your front foot back to meet your back foot. Hover down to Chaturanga, 90 degrees of the arms. Flipping over the toes to upward facing dog. And then sending the hips high to downward facing dog. Right leg goes high toward the sky. Bend it out, open the hip. This time see if you can flip your dog. Sending your right toe behind you to wild thing. Then lower your seat toward the ground. And then see if you can press through the heels and rise back up. Right hand comes back to the mat, right leg goes back high. This time we're going to send the right leg underneath the left arm, lift our left arm toward the sky and take fallen star. Then lower the seat toward the ground, press through the heels, lift the heart. Place the left hand back as the right leg goes back high. Then send the leg over towards the right, try and keep it straight if you can and lower onto your belly, maybe the foot comes in line with the hands. Then press back up, right leg lifts. Then curl it in knee to nose. Place the foot in between the hands, rising up, high lunge. 
Hug the thighs together, square the hips and push through the arms, reaching the fingertips high toward the sky. Keep hugging the thighs, lunging into the right knee. Then place the hands either side of the right foot, lift the left foot to the sky, standing split. From here we're still squaring our hips and kicking through our left heel, melting down the chest. Then lift up the chest halfway and place the left foot by the right foot. Have a little fold. From here, slight bend into the knee and begin to stack it up vertebrae by vertebrae, rising to stand. When you get there, roll your shoulders back, face your palms ahead. Reach high to the sky on your inhalation. Exhale, soften and forward fold toward the ground. Inhale, lift up halfway flat spine, then place the hands, step or float back to Chaturanga. Roll over the toes, upward facing dog, and then send the hips high, downward facing dog. Left leg goes high, bend it out, open the hip. Then send the toe behind you, keep the leg bent and reach up the left arm toward the sky. Wild thing. Lower the hips to the ground and then push back up, lift the chest. When you're ready, left hand comes back to the mat, left leg goes high. Then send it underneath your right arm, pivot on the feet, and reach up, fall in star with the right arm reaching in the air. Then lower the hips to the ground and press through the heels, lift back up. Place the right hand back to the top of the mat, left leg goes high. Send the leg over toward the left, making your little L shape for love. And then lower down all the way to the belly, foot in line with the hands. Then press back up, lift the left leg to the sky. Then when you're ready, step the left foot in between the hands and rise up high lunge. Keep squaring the hips, hugging the thighs, lunging into the left leg. So find your energy here. Find your focus, find your breath. And then fold the chest down halfway. Staying strong in the legs and then slowly placing the hands either side of the foot, lifting up the right leg toward the sky and melting down with the chest. Again, kicking through that right heel, length within the spine. Lift up halfway and then place the right foot at the top of the mat and have a little fold. Again, we stack it up vertebrae by vertebrae, rising to stand slowly, then rolling the shoulders back, facing the palms ahead connecting back in and then reach your arms toward the sky gaze high swan dive on your exhalation down towards your toes inhale lift up halfway flat spine place the hands step or float back to chaturanga roll over the toes to upward facing dog and then lift the hips high to downward facing dog from here our right leg is going high to the sky bend it out open the hip and then placing the toe behind you, wild thing. Lift up the right arm, bend into the right leg. Lower the hips toward the ground and again rise back up, wild thing. Right hand places back at the front of the mat, right leg lifts. And then extend the right leg underneath your left arm and lift the left arm to the sky. Lower the hips to the ground and then rise back up. Left hand goes back as right leg goes high. Send the leg over to the right and land on your belly, straight leg if you can. Then press back up, downward facing dog with the right leg lifted. Curl it in knee to nose and place it in between the hands, high lunge. From here, left arm is going forward, right arm is going backwards. Again, we stay, hugging the thighs, twisting into this high lunge. And then flip the left hand, reach your head and reverse this twisted warrior. If you can, your right hand trickles down toward your left thigh. And then send your left hand a couple of inches ahead of your right foot to twisted half moon. Hug in the belly and square the hips off, flexing your left toes toward the ground. Arms are in a beautiful parallel line. And then left leg is going to step back. We're going to windmill open our arms, lunge into our right knee and take warrior two. Front heel back arch lining up, again arms are parallel and then flip the right palm, reverse your warrior. Keep your legs exactly as they are, just trickle the left hand back down the left thigh. 
From here we're going to normal half moon. So right hand goes a couple of inches ahead of the right foot, left leg lifts, toes flex toward the side, maybe gazing up at that left hand within the air. Again, trying to square the hips off to the side of the room and find an opening of the hips. Left hand goes down and we melt into this standing split, flexing your left toes toward the ground and melting down with your chest. And then place the left foot by the right foot and have a little fold. Inhale, lift the chest up halfway to a flat spine. Exhale, melt and fold. Inhale, rise, stand tall. And then hands come to your heart center. Inhale, reach toward the sky, gaze high. Exhale, soften and forward fold down toward your toes. Inhale, lift the chest halfway, flat back. Placing the hands, stepping or hopping, chaturanga. Then roll through the toes, upward facing dog. And hips high, downward facing dog. Then left leg goes high, bend it out, open the hip. Place the toe behind you and take your wild thing, lifting the heart. And then send the hips down toward the ground. And then again, lift up the hips. Left hand comes back as left leg shoots high. Then extend it underneath your right arm for fallen star, lifting up the right hand. Lower the hips and then rise back up with the hips. Place the right hand back down and lift the left leg back high. Send the leg over to your owl, lower to the belly and press back up with the left leg lifted. Curl it in knee to nose. Place the foot in between the hands, rising up high lunge. Square the hips toward the front of the room and then open out to the twist. Right arm in front, left arm behind. Hug the thighs together, square the hips, navel draws in. Lunge into the left knee, gaze at your back hand. And then when you're ready, flip that right hand. See if you can reverse this twisted warrior variation. Maybe gazing backwards, keeping softness within the neck. And then moving through to our twisted half moon. So the right hand is going down to the ground. We're raising up the right leg and lifting our left hand toward the sky. Spiraling from the navel, maybe you can gaze at the left hand in the sky. Then gaze at the ground, flip your arms, windmill them open and open out to warrior two, lunging into the left knee, heel and arch lining up, pressing through pinky side of the back foot. Again, finding your neutral position of the chest, then reaching forward with the left palm, flipping it and reversing your warrior, gazing underneath your armpit, staying strong in your left leg. Left hand is going to soften down toward the ground and we're going to raise our right leg toward the sky, flexing the toes toward the side of the room, reaching the right arm high, gazing at the fingertips in the sky. Soften through the belly, Open out the hips toward the side and then gaze at the ground. Take it into your standing split with both hands coming down, softening the chest, staying strong in your legs. Lift up halfway and then right foot settles by the left foot and melts into a little fold. Lift up halfway and then again surrender into the fold. Inhale, reach toward the sky, gaze high. Hands come to your heart center in prayer position. This time dip and sweep Utkatasana, so sinking into the hips, reaching the arms. Melt down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Lengthen up the spine, halfway flat back, then step or float to Chaturanga. Roll over the toes, up dog, and then back to downward facing dog. Right leg high, bend it out, open your hip. Place the toe behind you, wild thing, hips lift. Lower down toward the ground. This time we're going to take it into a twist. So we're not rising back up, we're hugging in that right knee with our left arm and gazing over our right shoulder. And then we have to get back to the front of our mat. So left hand goes back to the front, right hand goes back to the front. Pivot on your feet, right leg goes high. And then send it underneath the left arm, fall in star with the hips lifting. Lower down towards your seat and melt into a forward fold with legs open. Chest melting forward, keeping length and integrity within your spine. Keep the focus on the breath and bringing down the energy.
Then lift back up, send your right hand back, send your left hand back. Raise the right leg high to the sky. Take it out to your L shape and then soften to the belly. Untuck your back toes and lift up to feel the stretch within the groin. Keep the elbows hugging to the rib cage and the shoulders rolling back. And then when you're ready, we're gonna lower our chest back down. Roll onto our back this time and hug the knee to our chest. So we're moving around the mat a lot today. And then extend the leg toward the sky. You can either hold onto the back of the thigh, the calf or the big toe if it's available. Then extend the leg towards the right. Keep your left hand grounding down your left sitting bone and see if you can gaze over your left shoulder. Then draw it back to center. And this time we're gonna twist it over to the side. So the knee is bending. We're taking it over towards the left and gazing over our right hand. Again, spiraling through the belly, grounding down both shoulders. Place the right hand back, place the left hand back and see if you can push back up to this downward facing dog with the right leg high. If you got a little bit lost, just pause the video and have a watch. Then left leg high, bend it out, open the hip. Place it behind you, wild thing. Then lower the seat toward the ground, we move to our twist. So hug the left leg in with your right arm. The left hand falls behind our back, nice tall spines, hug the leg in close and think upper back bend. And then place the hands back at the top of the mat, pivot on the feet, the left leg goes back high. Extend the left leg underneath the right arm, fallen star, hips lift. Then soften to the ground, and this time we're gonna take a side stretch. So the right hand is grounding down the left sitting bone. The left hand is falling over the ear. Maybe it can grab your toe. Don't worry too much if it's not available at this moment. Just reach towards it, stretching through the side body. And then stay low and switch sides. Right hand reaches toward the left toe, creating length in the side body, grounding down that right sitting bone. So make sure it's not lifting off the ground. And then bring yourself back up, place the hands back at the top of the mat, pivot on the feet, tuck the toe, left leg high. Then send it over towards the left, keep it straight if you can, lower to your belly, untuck your right toes and lift up your chest, wrap the elbows in, roll the shoulders back for this groin stretch. Then soften the chest back to the mat, place the hands back down and roll onto your back whichever way you can with that left leg coming toward the chest. Keep it bent or extend it toward the sky, maybe taking behind the thigh, behind the calf or the big toe. Grounding down that right sitting bone and flexing both toes. Then send the leg over toward the left, maybe shifting your gaze over your right shoulder. Keep both sitting bones grounded. And then when you're ready, take the leg back to center, bend the knee, take it in your right hand and twist it over toward the right. Extend your left arm and gaze toward the left hand. So staying fully present in the twist. And then when you're ready, twisting back the way you came, tucking the back toes and sending the left leg high toward the sky. And then place it back toward the mat Hover to Chaturanga, roll through to Upward Facing Dog and send the hips high to Downward Facing Dog. Bend the legs, jump through and lie down on your back. Take soles of the feet together for a moment and place your hands lightly on your hips. Connecting with this final hip opening before we take our Shavasana, our Corpse Pose. Reach the legs towards the front of the mat, extend the arms overhead, point flex through the feet and then clasp your fingertips, take them behind your head, lift your head up, lengthen your neck, and then let the hands fall beside the body for Shavasana. Palms face the sky to receive gratitude and feet go mat width. Use this as an opportunity to connect with how the body is now feeling, tuning into your breath, finding this lightness in your body and letting go of the past, staying fully present for however long you have time for today. I recommend staying for at least five minutes and try not to dash off too fast. Just staying with your breath, your body and using this as an opportunity to focus in, nourish your body, nourish your mind.